is Holly. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing some house updates. I have big furniture pieces that I have bought. It's like a collection of things that I have gotten um, um, starting at Christmas time really and then up until last week and then some things that I have done in the garden and so it's just like a huge update of like what I have bought for the house where I'm going to be using it in the house, some updates on the house, and then just a couple of new updates in the garden, um, and some things that I bought for the garden, um, like little tools and things that actually came in from, y'all know my last video that I did, I was talking about wanting to get some good tools for my garden, and I, they actually all came in, plus I got a few more other little things for it, so I'm really excited about this video, I hope that y'all are enjoying these little videos, what's funny is this video has been filmed throughout a week's time, um, this introduction is actually filmed on the day I'm about to edit. I want to know in the comments, can y'all tell whenever the video is not just in one day, um, or is it hard to tell? Because it's so funny to me because I feel like my vlogs make it look like it's all in a day's work and really is probably a bunch of days clipped in together. So let me know, can y'all notice that? Is that something that you notice or do you just think that I filmed this all in one day? Um, it's just funny to me. I don't know why, I just kind of find it comical that it feels like it's just all wrapped up in one day. And really, this has been like a week or two's worth of content that I've been filming, getting ready, and preparing for this video. So anyway, we're going to start off at Petals from the Past. It's my favorite plant nursery. We're just going to be there for just a second. I wanted to add just a few more things in the garden, and I'll show you what I wanted to add and why. And then we'll do the house updates. So we will go ahead and go on to Petals. Even if the sky is falling down Friends, we got the whole set up here. So this is what all I got from Amazon. Y'all tell me if there's a better way to organize this. I just threw this together. I'll probably look um, for us some ideas on better ways to organize it. But I have my little pruners in here. I got all this from Amazon. I did get these in. These are not the best quality, but they were what I was looking for with the wooden handle. So I'm just going to make them work for a little while. Um, if y'all know a good quality. And I might even try to wait till Target restocks too. Um, but you can never have too many garden tools, I don't think. And then I have my apron in here. And then uh, this apron I got from the Target Dollar Spot and it came with matching gloves. I've been using that all week. I love it. This tool is so awesome. This is what I've been getting the weeds out of the garden with. And this is so handy. And then lots more other tools. And then I have some more gardening gloves in here. So now it is finally all in one spot. This is going to be so nice. And then I had to go get this out of the Jeep because I forgot about it. I've been in the garden all week and it's looking so good. And I wish I would have had this at the beginning because I have been on my knees pulling weeds and fixing the flower garden. And I used to think these were so silly. Like, why would you even need this? It's a waste. It is not a waste. I wish I would have had this. I got this at Target. They had other ones. Welcome to the garden. Plant grow bloom. It's gray and black. It says it was five dollars whenever i got out to got up to check out it was only two dollars and fifty cents um long story short kayla actually bought this for me uh, <laughs> we got up there to check out and for some reason i didn't think she had got anything and i thought she was just putting my stuff up there to scan so i just started grabbing my stuff out of the buggy and i scanned it and then she just kind of looks at me and i was like <gasps> so she was like i got it i got it anyway it was hilarious so kayla bought me this i'll be able to take this whenever I need to pull weeds or whatever I need to do. That feels so much better than the grass. Gosh, I needed this a long time ago. Where were you? So if you are going to be getting into gardening, I definitely recommend one of these now. My snacks for out here, some pineapple, some, well, some fruit, and then these pretzels are delicious. I can't remember what they're called. Addison found them. My water to stay hydrated have some plants that I need to plant. This is super cute. Love that. I'm going to show y'all what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to eat my snack first though because I'm hungry and then we're going to start planting some plants to kind of freshen up the garden a little bit more. Head high, even if the sky is falling down. two little garden hanging baskets and they had Kentucky mint in it and they've had it in there for years. It is choking out my plants. So I did have a petunia 
and a salvia in here and it's just choking them out so we're going to get this mint out and put it in something by itself and then put a better plant so it can trail over and look pretty in these baskets so note to self never put in mint with any other plants mint needs to go in its own little container so in these containers i have mint too this is pineapple mint i had one in there and one in there that one burnt up so we're going to take this mint out put it in a pot by itself and then we're going to put these in a place of that. Okay, I got this little doodad off of Amazon. This is a weed murder, and it's the easiest thing ever. I bought something so cute from Petals. I saw this in their greenhouse kind of tucked away, and I've seen these before, and I wanted to try it. I really wanted to get it going and then see if I could keep it um, alive for Valentine's Day. So I got this. It was only like $3.95, and then I also got this angel vine that Lacey, my friend there, recommended. And then I have this pot, this terracotta pot I already had. Now I do want to put it in a prettier pot at some point, but this is all I had right now. So this is all I'm going to do. Well, I guess I need to plant the plant first. So I'm going to put the plant in here. Let me do that and then I'll show you how I'm going to train it. Okay, so I have it planted and then I'm just going to figure out how the best way to do this is. I feel like it needs to be in the middle. And then we're just gonna take the little vines and wrap them around. And then I will cut back and all anything that doesn't go. I might have to get that some like little bread ties to hold it, but I'm hoping this will hold. Yeah, I think it's gonna work. So we're gonna do all of those real quick. So that was super easy. All I did was take the vine and wrap it around. And then as it keeps growing, I'll keep wrapping it. And then I'll snip away at these little things as it starts growing better. And I'll probably snip these too. I think I'm gonna let these try to grow out some and then wrap it, but I think it's gonna be so cute. So y'all stay on me. And I'm really hoping that Valentine's Day 2023, you'll see this in my house. So y'all help remember to mention it in the comments for me to take care of it. And then for my Valentine's Day home tour, y'all be on the lookout to see how this thing looks. We're gonna do just a quick little garden update, not much. I did plant the mint in here. So I repotted, uh, I had pineapple mint, and then this is spearmint. It looks burnt up, but it's, these were actually in four inch containers that I had bought from Petals and I never planted. So I put these in here. These are actually going to Miss Althea's house. And then this is all the mints that I had in those baskets and I planted them separate. So these come back fast. This is the pineapple and then the Kentucky. These are my favorite mints. I love these so much. So I have those in these little containers for now. And then I just have it kind of jumbled right here, um, piled beside this fountain. It's not its best. I've told y'all before, my plan is to actually plant stuff in the ground to grow on this fence line, but we'll do that after we're through with the house and we put the landscaping out. Like that's gonna be landscape. These will go on the back porches. This is just a hodgepodge of collected plants, but I don't mind it, it's so pretty. And then over here on each side of the fire pit area, I planted um, some Henry Dulberg salvia. And this gets really big and bushy and it has all those pretty blooms. And it comes back every year. And every year it gets bigger and bigger. So this is what I had whenever we had this little setup on the other side of the double wide. And I loved how it turned out. Like this is some of the lambs there that was from over there. I ended up having to get new salvia because it died. This lamb's ear didn't die and it'll get really big. So pretty much line this and then those will get big and bushy and those will be in the backdrop of that. And I really liked how that looked so I just copied it again. I'm so excited to get rocks put around this. I think it's gonna make a world of difference. And then probably tomorrow I'll come out here and deadhead to these. I haven't done this yet. But I think whenever I do that, these will come back. This is actually a ground cover and it would do really good in the ground, but I don't know where I want to put it in the ground yet. So I'm just keeping it in the pot. And my roses look beautiful. And I have the same thing going over here on this side as I do the other side over there. So it's all symmetrical. Um, and then later on these roses this won't stay right here. The roses or these or these trees, this will all go in our landscaping around our house. This is just some things that I had 
pot it up and put it around the trailer and I'm trying to keep it alive so I can put it around the house and then I'll do something different right here and then I have this and I cannot remember what it's called I should have kept the tags I could share it to y'all but I love this I think it's so beautiful I love this blue color I don't really have anything blue in the garden I have lots of purples and pinks you'll see I don't really have lots of reds or yellow I just kind of really like the girly pastel -y colors who knows I might end up adding some well I will have a bunch of colors whenever those zinnias come up but for now just some really pretty girly colors and then this will get really tall and big and spill over so Jason said that this would be the thriller spiller and filler if you don't know what that is whenever you do containers you buy a plant that's a filler that fills it in a spiller that spills out and then a thriller that has height and so this should cover up this whole pot and I cannot wait to see how that's going to look with all those blue bl blue blooms I feel like that's going to be beautiful and then my little hydrangeas these are actually planted right here um, I need to go through and spot spray some of this grass that's coming through and then put some more mulch I need another layer of mulch back here and then the rocks and then all this is the hay field Put really pretty views out here this is the little baskets that did have all of that mint in that and I took all the soil out so I didn't have the chance of the mint coming back and then I just put some pansies in here they were getting choked out by the mint so they should come back and all this should be full of white petunias and then I bought these little flowers as you saw to spill out the side and I thought these were so sweet it's that pretty blue color too so they'll kind of trail down and I did the same thing to this basket over here and then Saturday, our plan is to take all of that to the dump. And then, I'm showing you all the pretty stuff, but you had not even seen all the bad stuff. We're going to take all that stuff to the dump, not the brick. All the stuff we can to the dump. We're going to keep some pieces of wood that we can. And then Drew's going to weed eat and um, cut the grass back here because it, it's given us anxiety it, it looks awful and then I have one little sunflower that came back from last year and I don't have the heart to pull it up so we're just gonna let it do its thing right here and then once it dies off then I'll pull it out we are getting some tomatoes this one is purple Cherokee and it is our absolute favorite tomato ever I planted three of those and then just one um, cherry tomato so we could have little tomatoes too but look I love these marigolds this is the only thing orange that I have in the garden but I love putting these with the tomatoes they're really good companion plants so we'll start right here I do want to add some rocks to this I feel like it would make it look so much better and kind of separate the grass from the mulch so I'll be doing that hopefully soon and then I did plant this in the ground I didn't want so many pots I was getting tired of all the pots and we did put cardboard up under here and we wanted it to kind of disintegrate before I put plants in the ground I did that earlier this spring so now it was time to be able to plant things so this one looks bad it did get ran over um, during the construction process but I just planted it in the ground it'll soon get full and bushy again did buy these that I love they're a form of a daisy and I loved that they were white and had the purple in the middle and these will come back every year and so I'm hoping that this gets really big and bushy and I thought it would be really pretty and complement the purple here and then the white so I'm designing this space as if it was a room with four walls that's what my friend Tracy over at Just Dig It Farms told me I needed to do and I never could grasp how to do that with flowers but now that I've kind of been playing with them and playing with my landscaping um, and researching things. I get it now, and so it helped doing the four walls and like matching things. So this is some of my herbs. I still have some tools there because we're still working out here. And then my prosperity rose that I want to climb all over the fence line. I do want to put something here. I don't know what yet. Like I want to plant lots of herbs and uh, like cut flowers all along this fence line more herbs and then I went ahead and put some more of those little daisies here and then this is a butterfly bush and it doesn't look like it's doing so hot right now but it will be fine later so this one is one I had last year and it's coming back to life and I'll share with y'all pictures of what this is supposed to look like 
And this is one that my sweet neighbor friend, Miss Linda, she told me, she saw me out in the garden and said, I wouldn't give you this butterfly bush. And so I don't know what color it's gonna be. So I planted it right beside this one and I'm hoping that they grow together and kind of intermingle and maybe they will be two different colors. If they're not, it'll be pretty, but if they are, it'll be gorgeous having the two different butterfly bushes. So I planted that one there. This won't stay here. This will eventually move and this butterfly bush gets huge and that's what will be on the corner of this. We did put our fire pit down. Um, we had to spray to kill the weeds, and so I gotta get those up and then put down the um, pea gravel, some more of the pea gravel. But one step at a time. I hope that y'all don't mind seeing these videos. Um, just the little steps that we're doing in the garden to make it pretty. It will take a while. I think it will take a year or two before it gets exactly to where I want it to be. But I feel like it's fun sharing with y'all little updates. So y'all let me know if y'all like seeing the updates. The entrance, so all this will be grass. And this will be entering into my little garden. And I have a climbing antique rose here and here. This one was blooming and doing so beautiful. It's a Peggy Martin. And it used to be up underneath a tree. And I moved it out here. So now it's in full sun. So it got pretty ticked off at me. But I asked my friend Tracy and she said just to keep watering it and it'll get used to it all the leaves will fall off i probably need to cut it back she said it'll um be fine and come back to life and all i just hate that it died because it was so pretty or like i hate that it kind of fried up in the sun but she said that it should definitely come back so um also or and too if you're watching this let me know should i cut that back or just keep watering it i did fertilize it so maybe the leaves will fall off and then it'll um rebloom again and then i put some rocks my mom and i did this um i feel like it just helps to do that and kind of keep the grass away from it and then over here, we won't talk about this much because I feel like I've showed this garden so many times and y'all are probably tired of it. I have Confederate Jasmine. It smells incredible. It makes me so happy to come over here after a hard day's work in the garden and lay in this hammock. Um, it's kind of beat up. I've had it for a couple of years now. I was going to get rid of it but because I don't really love it here. I feel like it looks too crowded and messy. But for right now, as I'm working so hard in the garden, I'm just going to keep it here to enjoy it. And then we'll end up moving that out of the way. And I might put like another seating arrangement here. Just something prettier right here. But right now, after a hard day in the garden, I like to come here and lay by the fountain and the Confederate Jasmine. And then this is my Penelope Antique Rose. And these are the new things that I added. Um, this is Cosmos. I got these from Petals and I love them. And these will bloom. It's a mix. So it'll do this dark purple, a light purple, a pink and a white. And this one will too. Look how beautiful that is. But what I really went to Petals for was to buy this lemon balm because my friend Miranda Christine if you don't follow her go check out her channel I'll link it down below but she had some of this and she made homemade lemonade with this um, and some lemons last year and it was just a much healthier and natural way to make lemonade for a really refreshing drink and hers got real big I'll put a picture of what hers looks like and it inspired me to have that because I wanted to say because like I said, I wanna have herbs in here that I can actually use and cook with. When I get in the new house, that is gonna be definitely something I wanna do is learn to cook with herbs and really use things in my garden. And then have these little cut flowers that I can come out and cut and put in little pretty bud vases around my house and bring them inside. Um, and then y'all seen all this before. So I wanna change this up too, but I gotta wait until after we get to do the landscape around our house because a lot of this will be landscape. And then last thing, we're not going to go over all of this, but I do have some vegetables in here. I have them in, I have raised beds. Drew built these for me last year. Um, like I said, we did this little by little last year. He built the fences and then we did the boxes. And then this year we did this. So this has been something that's been slowly over time. And just every time that we get out here, it's starting to look better and better. And I'm just obsessed with being out here. Like I cannot even describe to y'all how much that I love it. So vegetables, vegetables, vegetables i like tomatoes and peppers and things these are just from seeds i went and got a box from dollar general that was like a dollar and poured all the seeds in here last year and mixed them up and they were beautiful last year and they came back this year i didn't know that they would come back so i ended up having to pull up all my lettuce but thankfully my lettuce was about through for harvest and i harvested it all and then um, these were coming in. So that was actually perfect timing. And I didn't want to pull these up and put any other vegetables in here because this was so beautiful last year. So y'all stay tuned to see what this beautiful box is going to look like. And then let me know too in the comments if y'all know of a lettuce that will actually grow and do good in the hot Alabama summer. Because I wanted to have salads and I don't think I'm going to be able to. 
beautiful piece beside the basketball goal. So this is in my sister's basement right now. It's been held since Christmas time over here for me. And I think I'm gonna leave it just this color. I wanted something black in the foyer and it looks pretty black. It's probably more of a Java color, but I love it. And then look, it tricks you because it's not really yours. It used to be a TV stand, but I have really big ideas for this. I'm gonna tell y'all my ideas and then y'all can tell me if y'all think of anything else. So this is going in the foyer and I might've actually already showed y'all this on YouTube. I can't remember, but I really don't think that I did. So let me know that too, if you've already seen this or not. I know I shared it on Instagram, but I don't think I ever got around to putting it, to putting it together for a YouTube video. So my plans are, well, it actually sits up on something too. So in the foyer, I mean, it's, it's pretty tall. Like it comes up to my head. Seriously, like it comes up to my forehead. So it's probably five feet tall, like it is. But it has a stand that it sits on too. It's actually over here. Let me show you. Look, we have it covered up so the kids don't bump into it. So I'll see if I can give you a little sneak peek of it. So it looks like this. And this is actual drawers. And that's what it looks like. I hope you can get a good idea. So this piece will sit on that. So this will be a good seven foot tall piece. And I really need to measure our four year walls. I don't know if they're nine or 10 feet. So it might just have to be where it sits just like this in the four year and not that piece up under it. I really want the piece to sit up under it, but I'm picturing a clock, a big clock that I bought to go on top of it, some candlesticks, a big plant. Like this piece is massive. I wish that I could even like get the measurements of this. This is probably at least four feet wide. So this is a massive piece. But my plans are to get like a board, because like I said, it used to be a TV console. So get a board to put across it and paint it black and then maybe even a pole. And then it put like some velvet coat hangers and then whenever I have guests come over, they can like hang their coats in here. They can put their purses on here. So this can be like the catch all where everybody puts their things whenever they come over. And then the door up under it, I don't really know what I could use for that. I'm trying to think of like all of the things that you would need for in the foyer. I don't really know, but it has lots of awesome storage potential. So if y'all have any ideas of how to make this piece useful in the foyer, let me know. But I love this piece. Again, my mom and dad got me this for Christmas and I love the detail on it. And I'm really hoping that it works. I'm actually gonna get a measuring tape right now. We're gonna go measure it and see how far up it's gonna be in the foyer because then I'm gonna show you the idea with the wallpaper in the foyer as well. I just measured it. So it is almost five feet. It is 63 inches wide, 63 inches tall as it stands. So almost five feet. And then um, with the bench part up under it with the doors, it is two inches away from being eight feet tall. So I don't know if I want to be able to put that on the piece in the foyer, unless the foyer is taller than 10 foot. I just don't think it's going to work because the clock that I bought is probably three feet or three foot, three feet or bigger. So I really wanted all that to be able to work together, but I just don't know. Y'all bear with me because y'all know we're in moving process. So you got to see how everything's boxed up and all I wish it, or packed up and all. I wish that everything was set up pretty where you can see, but we're trying to store it. So I do have a picture of this. I'll insert so you can see what it looks like. I got this on the online yard sale for a really good deal. I love it. And I want y'all to actually guess in the comments how much that I got it for. And then I'll let y'all know in the comments because I just want y'all to guess on how much I got this piece for. So I didn't realize this whenever I bought it. This is going to go in the dining room and I'll take you to the house and show you everything, how I want it set up. But this actually has, if y'all have been with me for a while, you'll know on my channel, I used to have that like mustard or gold colored velvet bench at the end of my bed. Um, I'll try to find a picture and insert it, but this is that same material and I sold that bench and I feel like I'm getting to bring a piece of it back into the house because of how that is. There is two lights. There's a light here and a light here and I'm trying to decide if I want to paint this or not. I originally wanted, I definitely wanted to get a black hutch or me paint a hutch black to put in the dining room. But now I'm kind of thinking I'm going to do dark walls in the dining room and I'm thinking I'm going to do dark green walls. I'll show you some inspiration and pictures that I have on Pinterest. I'm not real sure if I'm doing it yet, but this is just a thought. Um, the rest of the house is going to be kind of bright and airy, but I kind of thought just have one room downstairs really dark and romantic feeling and just that kind of vibe. Again, because I loved that restaurant Juniper I've told y'all about 
several times in different videos and I love the vibe that it had. I'll try to unclip some pictures of it too so y'all can see what I'm talking about. Kind of get my vision and since it was a restaurant, I thought that it would be really nice to incorporate that into the dining room area. And so, like I said, I thought I was going to paint it black, but I'm kind of liking this color that it is i think i did want i did want to get like a newer hutch like an updated like chalk painted kind of thing but i don't know i'm kind of liking the color of this so i think that what i'm gonna do is just get the get the house done put this in the house and then i'll do a youtube video on it and y'all can help me decide if i should paint it or leave it the color with the wall color that i choose and the kitchen table that I choose to put in there so y'all can help me figure out what I need to do with this piece but I'm just going to leave it as is for now um so this is the hutch part and I have so many different dishes to swap out for each season y'all will see in one of these new videos that's coming up after this that I bought some blue dishes that I love 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 so much and I bought a set so that will go spring and summer I had um one of you Miss Donna that sent me a whole set of plates that is going to be perfect for the fall and then I also have some red dishes that my mom and sister got me for my birthday that I'm going to use for the Christmas and winter months so I have so many different dishes that I'm going to be able to display in this piece and then it came with this bottom part and it has the drawers it has so much storage so i'm going to, be able to put all my seasonal tablecloths and dishes in this and i cannot wait to have a china hutch um i love miss althea's i love styling it i love styling my mom's and so this is going to be real nice you can see all the detail like if i have to paint this thing it is going to be so much hard work because there's so much detail in this i did not realize there was a flower that made me even more happy I also want to mention too that I've been branching out and going to a lot of different places downtown or just places that are just really cool and I've been drawing lots of inspiration just from like different restaurants or boutiques or little markets just places like that I have been trying to go to because I've been drawing so much inspiration on how to decorate the house and it has helped me out so much it is even more fun doing that gathering vision than just looking on Pinterest or the internet so I wanted to encourage y'all to get out and shop local eat local drive to the next town over do like little road trips and if you're wanting to like redo your home or you like being creative in that kind of way like I do then definitely get out and about and go check out and support some um, small town businesses because um, you'll never know where you're going to go into and be able to pull some awesome ideas on how to decorate your home or you don't even know the people that you'll run into that you'll connect with so I wanted to mention that as well. All right another thing in a garage this one is Miss Althea and them's so imagine what all this is going to be in a beautiful clean house instead of out in all the carports in the basements. So this is my wine cooler that I got off of Amazon. And then let me tell y'all, I'm obsessed. I love, love, love the gold detail on this. It also has this really cool handle that will go right here. I'm not going to put it on yet because I have to put it back in the box. But let me show you the inside. So this is where I'm going to put my, that feels so good. It's so hot outside. I've been in the garden again. So this is where we're going to put our Nietzsche red. And then I'm also going to, I think I'm going to put my Nietzsche red up here. And then down here, I think I'm going to take these trays are adjustable. So I'm going to take a couple of them out and I'm going to put like my coffee creamer, my chai, a different thing. So this is going to be like my Nietzsche red bar and my coffee bar. And this is going to go in the pantry, which I'll show you in a little bit where it's gonna go, it's gonna have like a countertop space. I'll put a picture right here to kind of show you the idea. It won't look exactly like this, but an idea is it'll be, have the cabinets, it'll be built around cabinets, and then I'll have a countertop, and then I'll have two shelves above it, and then I'm gonna put my coffee bo my coffee pot on the countertop, and my blender, and this is gonna be, it's gonna be like a coffee bar, breakfast bar type area, and then I wanna put all my vitamins and stuff in the cabinet drawers, and let this just be kind of like a little, healthy bar area but then also coffee bar and then I'll have my stuff to make like smoothies and stuff all that on the countertop I think this is going to be so nice and so easy and practical I am so excited about our pantry we didn't have a pantry in the trailer so or in the double wide so I am so pumped about this absolutely I cannot wait to use this thing oh I forgot to show y'all it has a setting you can turn on blue lights like look how fun and fabulous that looks i cannot wait this is one of the things i'm really excited about to put in the new house 
sheetrock is being delivered. I went and got me a salad to eat for lunch before I go back in the garden. And they're putting the sheetrock to the bonus room through that window. So we have the insulation, I think it's done. And they delivered the drywall. So we're gonna have another step done. I am so excited about this. Seeing all this little stuff come in just means one step closer. So this is the pantry and I've showed it to y'all before, but quick rundown, we will have a countertop here and cabinets. There'll be like basket with drawers and that's where I'm gonna put my supplements. There'll be cabinets under here and then my, um, Wine cooler y'all just saw will go right here and then I'm gonna put my coffee bar up top. And then I'm gonna put my coffee pot up top or coffee maker and then my blender and my little toaster and then there'll be two shelves right here. So this is gonna be like a breakfast bar, coffee bar, health bar, all that tied into one. And this will be somewhere that I wake up each morning and come straight to so I can make sure to get all of my supplements in to get the day started. All my vitamins and supplements and then get my smoothie or chai um, whatever I want. So this area might be one of my most favorites that I'm excited about. Um, I do need to measure that to see how high these ceilings are because I really don't have a clue. Um, and then I'll be able to tell if I'll be able to use that other little stand that that big piece sits on. I really would love to do that, but I think it's just going to be, I don't know, it might not be, but it's almost eight feet. And if, if this is 10, we might can get away with it working. But I wanted to put a clock on top of it and then a house plant and some candlesticks. And then on this side of the wall, I have a really pretty gold mirror that I want to hang on the wall. Um, it's a long full length mirror and I want to put a bench up under it. And then this is the dining room. And I really want that piece, that hutch to go on this wall. I measured it out and it'll fit perfectly here and leave um, about a stud and a half distance between um, the hutch for the wall space. This thing is going to be massive. I think it's going to be so pretty. And then I'll share with y'all the colors that I want to paint the kitchen. And then I have a crystal gold chandelier that's going to be hanging from the ceiling. And then I have another piece that I'll try to find a picture and share it with y'all too that I want to put right here. So I have this piece and this piece. I just don't have a table, but I don't know what color table and all that I want to get. But now that I kind of know what I'm working with and what color I want to do the walls, maybe I have, maybe I can find an idea. Another update is we have our guest bath installed. We did get enamel or no porcelain. I don't know. What is this called? It's, it feels like tin. It's really thick. Um, I can't remember what they called this. So we got that and then we're going to tile the rest of the way up. And then I got our faucets and y'all, they are absolutely gorgeous. I had the plumbers come and make sure they were going to work and they never told me if they did or not. So I'm guessing they did or they would have told me to send this back. So here's the shower head. Look how pretty this is. It looks antique. So this will go like this, I'm guessing, on the wall somehow. I don't really know how this works. But isn't that gorgeous? So I want this bathroom to be black and white. And then I'll show you ours. Is, we're going to have a rain head in our shower. So we got that gold this and this was two different kits so i was just praying that this matched and drew and addison opened it up one day whenever i wasn't home and told me that it matched so and it, it works with the um and it works with the hookup that we're having to use so that's perfect so i feel like those match really well so this basically looks just like um, the black one, but it's gold, and then there won't be a bathtub spigot. It'll be, um, just all shower. Like, here's the shower head. Well, I don't really want to open that right now, but you can gotta kind of get a feel of what it's gonna look like. Mm -hmm. 